Hello and welcome to the Foundry Roundtable, what used to be the podcast that was exclusively for the Foundry for Star Trek Online. Um, I'm Drogan1701, and what we're going to do today is uh, basically do a big finale live stream for the Foundry, since it's uh, set to be sunsetting in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, and we're going to be going for about six hours, to be nice. We're going to run missions, um, so which is probably like half of our favorite thing to do <laughs> right missions um, play missions it's fine absolutely so with me is uh the usual gang um and we are we are absolutely a gang you know the the foundry shadowy foundry cabal right that was what we were called once uh, actually i have a <laughs> if we're going if we're going there i have a confession to make and that is that yes. i am the sh- shadowy foundry cabal Oh. Yes, on on, tw- on Twitter you had that yeah. handle. <laughs> Started it years ago, and then as a joke, because we were actually called that at one point. Yeah, well, see, because one thing that has been uh, that got brought up on the forums recently is that um, there are actually like certain like websites and message boards dedicated to writing uh, Star Trek Online Foundry stuff. Populated by people who avoid this, the official forum. Because <laughs> apparently Pinger was one of them. Because Pinger and some other authors that he'd been collaborating with on whichever website it is that Pinger would collaborate with people on, he uh, came up with a trick for using a third party application to add voiceover to a foundry mission. <laughs> Definitely uh, taking us back there. But I got sidetracked before I actually introduced everyone here. So <laughs> we have, obviously, Green Dragoon, Mark Hawkman, and Duncan Idaho. Yay! Hey. Hey. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to be rotating some authors and, and folks in and out uh, as we play missions. So our first guest is Admiral Aaron. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for having me on again. <laughs> um. So we're we're going to um, invite some of our our guests to pick a mission to play. So if you have something recent, something that hasn't gotten played before, uh, something recent that hasn't gotten played. Well, I I just just republished right now my April Fool's mission that's being updated. Um, so I thought I'd launch it a little early so people can have you know like a little bit of fun. Um, well, I, I mean, do, it's only two days early anyways. <laughs> it's only two days early, so there's there's been a bit of update to it. It's called uh, A.A. Firkin's Chair, April Fool's. Um, it's in the uh, the regular file, not the review. And I'm just about to announce that on Twitter, too. So... A.A. Firkin's chair. There it is. All right. <clears throat> this is a Federation mission, of course. Yep. This one. Let me start the team here. And, of course, it's a Federation mission. I'm going to play it on the Federation Orion and not Acadia for Orion. <laughs> uh, I just transformed to DS9. <laughs> I had to make that announcement. It just went live. I hope it doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're about to find out. Well, I mean, I uh, recently. What is the is uh, the most bizarre thing ever? Is that right before the foundry was scheduled to be um, removed, uh, they somehow managed to fix a bug that had been in, in the foundry for years. And it had been impeding my ability to uh, fix a mission that got that had gotten broken by uh, one of the updates. <laughs> they one. also Just fixed one of the out. assets. <laughs> like there's this been one of my favorite generator pieces. Like lost the yellow front cover to it, so you can basically just hop inside it now. But... Uh, actually, that if that's the item I'm thinking of. It's 
an object that you would find in uh, cryptic missions. Yeah, so that finally got its asset You can asset actually fixed, find was... that asset in the Andoria social zone. And while well, it was broken, uh, it's, uh, you would just like walk into the, the uh, tent next to the beam endpoint at the Andoria social zone and just like stand inside the, uh, uh, you know, asset that didn't have a front on it. It's the generator equivalent of a Tauntaun. <laughs> All right, so let's get the dialogue here. Start Foundry mission at Earth Space Dock Exchange Door. But we're not there yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I but that's the only my, that's uh, the only opening dialogue there was. So. I, 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 oh, I that opening my, dialogue. Uh, yeah. Okay. I used my transwarp to get to DS Nine. I'm going to have to fly the ESD. Yep, I uh, just did that. If you pick up Blood of the Ancients, you could actually just like use the free mission transwarp, and I just realized I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gee, we know how to uh, play this game. Oh, right. This is one of the characters whose mission journal got broken uh, when they did the revamp. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Almost there. Flying through the dock because that's cool. There it is. Heads up, someone's got some uh, stuff coming in through their mic. How heavily armored do I need to be for this mission? I'm going uh, maximum armor. I would say pretty armored. I made some changes, so it's not the Voth okay. anymore. Uh, well, this is well, one so of the toughest ships I have, <laughs> and it's a character who has some pretty good kit, so, you know. I'm also bringing a tardigrade. Get big tardigrade. It might get killed. Also, oh, also um, I, I may or may not stab whatever enemies you put in the in mission to death. It's okay, <laughs> big tardigrade. You can go run and get pizza if things get air explodey. That's okay. I brought a little tardigrade. Oh. Yeah, th th this character is bringing a Tholian sword, so, you know. <laughs> 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 I'm the only one not dancing, and then even my tardigrade reared up and did the little like arms wavy thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shall improvise. I I will say I do have another mission coming. It's called Resistance. Um, yeah, I'm actually hoping to have that out in the next two days. Awesome. So, my final, final, final mission. Hmm. Then you'll so, definitely really be, be recording that. Yeah, it's actually what it is. Is um, originally I had the concept. I think I talked about it that I was going to launch a Christmas mission. Oh yeah! So I took my Christmas mission and I edited it. So mm. since it came, the Foundry finally came back online. I was like, okay, I'm going to take my Christmas mission. I'm going to edit it, and we're going to launch it. So that's what's happened. That's why the build time was so quick. Because yeah, most that's, of it was already built. <laughs> that's that's how I built four foundry missions in the span of what was like a week. Because hmm. I just took like what I had from existing projects, some of which could be sort of rewritten into a completed mission, just a little bit shorter than usual, just to finish off those plot lines. Because hmm. yeah, faded. That's how faded. Uh, well, um, evolution smile became like a three map, just like non combat for a well. Epoch Part 2, that was actually, that didn't turn out too badly. Um, I was hoping for one more map on that project, but it turned out to be completely unnecessary. <laughs> and then the, um, oh, Transcendence Part 4, um, my V'ger mission, that was, um, yeah, that was still needing another map, but still I sort of finished things off as I could. Although I was missing oh, a few boy. costumes there, so I had to improvise. <laughs> When I got to uh, Seoul, I realized that I actually had Blood of the Ancients in my mission journal in progress for some reason, and I don't remember why. That's from me, <laughs> because we're probably sharing our missions, and then... Actually, was it me? Uh, uh, oh, well. Um, no, sad. that's not me. Good. Yeah, someone's got Blood of the Ancients in progress. <laughs> I, I will sometimes do this thing where, you know, 
I'll just like automatically accept missions because an an NPC uh, gives it to me just to make them stop bugging me about it. That's what and, I do for turning off like the the auto hail. <laughs> it's it's like oh you want me to do Blood of the Ancients? Fine, I'll do that when I feel like it. <laughs> well, fi- so, finally, almost everything is skippable now. Yeah, um, Mo- most of the you know the the later game missions in particular. Yeah. However, um, I, I was recently finding out that the early Romulan missions are not. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, see, uh, the Romulan Republic has, like, an actual, like, official um, story progression, essentially. Yeah, especially the first few, because yeah, once before, you... Before you pick an allegiance. Yeah, because that's probably for technical reasons. Because, yeah, if those were skippable, that could cause some problems. Yeah. Well, part of it is that it's basically an extended tutorial. Yeah, and there might be some behind-the-scenes things that make that. Uh, I mean, because uh, which but, um, mission do you get your, we're all get here. All your uh, starting bridge officers in as a uh, uh, Romulan? Uh, you get them gradually. Yeah, one at a time on, on and mission. different yeah. missions. So we're all here now? Yes, we are. Does everybody have a mission? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Who wants to be Uncle Twerkins? <laughs> <laughs> Not it. Mm. I'll do it. I vote for Kendall Vinner. Or that. We can have to do that, too. You must find the chair. Make us go. I hit accept. Oh, I also brought a Krieger Wave Disruptor just because I felt... It's just... Uh, I, 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 the costume I'm wearing is basically designed to be a stormtrooper kind of look, uh, except without a helmet. And I wanted something that looked kind of like a stormtrooper rifle. Oh, I want to ask Admiral Aaron something. Shoot. Can I get a boff slide or Taylor file costume for Admiral Aaron to include with the foundry bucket? Yes, I, I will be working on all that kind of stuff. I'm a little bit behind. Um, so. There's actually a bunch of things I'm planning to do once uh, Resistance launches, like all my mission play views and all all the characters kind of thing. I want to kind of get that done. Yeah. Also, um, you do know about the Taylor ex- or the dialogue export tool? Uh, well, the good news is most of my dialogue was already written in oh, uh, yeah. Word. So. Hmm. Just mirror curling here. Curland? Why is there a bikini? Approach the chair. Ah, Ah, my computer! (laughs) Aaron. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) Whose computer crashed? Well, all right, all right, well done. <laughs> this is basically just all it is, right? Yeah, you just... That's it, that's the, the, the <laughs> Perkins chair. Worf died. A, a big explosion, and then a whole bunch of enemies spawn. This is oh, definitely... Oh, found your own table bot, die me. Oh, wait, no, no, it's me. Give me. Get him, get him, turn him great. Yeah, Lieutenant Turn great, take him down. Oh, oh look, it's, it's, it's time to shoot Admiral Aaron again. Yep. All right, there's only one solution to this. My favorite attack. Orbital bombardment. Oh, not that one. There we go. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. We have officially need to get the, good the bridge. <laughs> well, it's funny because yeah, my like that was a big frame rate slowdown for my new computer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a frame rate. Uh, yeah, I, so say, I think that takes any rig by surprise. That's it. No. That's the updated version, so it's no longer a, a bunch of both. It's it's every possible combination I could think of to throw at people. <laughs> so I, I'm just so happy that in the Foundry Sunset, Lieutenant Tardigrade got to kill me. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, uh, you, you, you know which bridge this uh, map came from, right? Yeah, uh, Olympic. The, uh... Player character bridge. Yeah. Uh, no, I was just thinking well, it doesn't well, look that well, bad. No, no, because it's, it, it's something that I find to be oddly appropriate. Because which episode of TNG was this ship seen in? 
Yeah, all good things. The finale. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, see, you, you even see the picture of it on the wall over here. All right, all right, Aaron. So that only took like five minutes. So let's pick yep. another. <laughs> let's pick another episode to play. Uh, there's Starbase Invictus. Yeah, there's, and for there's the, Starbase Invictus. For the record, oh. uh, I got the chair, so therefore I won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't have a battle to the death. King of the hill. Uh, I think we've actually. Have we shown? Starbase Invictus on we, this show before? Have we Starbase Invictus? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, we did. Because we did the... We, we did. We found the um, right after optional spotlight. dialogue. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, when you go to browse all, Starbase Invictus social map is literally the first thing on the list. Yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can do it again. That's no problem. That's just something else that uh, Aaron would uh, rather us um, run through. Um, let me see here. You know, Starbase Invictus is uh, is is my was my surprise one that got spotlit. I didn't expect it to ever be spotlit. Um, I think it's being played through quite a lot. Uh, the other one is um, that's another quick mission about I would say about thirty minutes is adrift. Yay! And it, okay. it does feature. I did do updates to it since it's last been anybody really kind of videoed it. So I changed the space maps. Cool. Oh, so, cool. Sounds like a good idea then. Yeah. I think we actually reviewed this one. Like, AA way, way, way Adrift S1 E1. Yep. yep. Wow, that one's got a nice number of plays. Summary. As oh, of, wait. As oh. of start date 91878.75, the USS North Star has been missing for six days and is not responding to Hills. Admiral Aaron, one of Starfleet's most decorated officers. I think that should mean most disciplined officers, <laughs> as that as it has ha, has the most disciplinary marks against him. Uh, <laughs> is is missing along with his ship and 980 of Starfleet's worst crew. <laughs> <laughs> the North the North Star's last location was reported by Captain Bella of the USS Stromo in orbit of VL two four five, and we're just going to leave it there. Yeah, mm. M- mission over. <laughs> <laughs> I would say it's the. Um, Federation's most expendable crew because it's on the North Star. Come on. I mean, <laughs> chances are you're only getting get like, you know, 10% of them back at best. <laughs> exactly. And, and and by 10%, we mean 10% of the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the, that's valuable raw material, so let's go take a look for it. <laughs> now, there's a trick to getting there fast. Um... It's, I think, under the Borg episodes, and then it's is that a Gathering Darkness. Let me see here. Oh. Borg Advance. Uh, gathering Darkness. I actually, dark- for, actually forgot to, to look and see what the uh, um, start point was. Uh, it's the, <laughs> uh, the Omicron Kappa system, yeah. So Gathering <laughs> Darkness. If you just if you accept that, then you can trans warp directly to the system. Boosh. Mm, that doesn't really. Wait, hang on. Let's share wrong... that. With you. I have the wrong mission. Are we not doing a drift? Yep. No, we're doing a drift. Okay. I'm just telling. I'm just telling you how uh, to get it says there. With it starts that. at Wolf three five nine. Uh, no, it definitely starts oh, at. Wrong adrift. Yeah, wrong adrift. That's, that's adrift by a different author that you're looking at. There. Okay. There we go. I was not paying attention. <laughs> I, I've had that happen before. Um, you know, I tell people to go play a mission of mine, and they went and played a mission of the same title by another <laughs> author. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like what happened. They come recently. back to you, it's like, what the hell is this? The, the, this is why I don't use single word uh, mission names, like <laughs> ever. I got away with it pretty well because I picked some oh, less often used titles, let's just say. Like I mean, revengeance, or I, I, like, like for example, greenside infiltration. It, it, it's short, but it's you don't see, see people use that word often. <laughs> you can find a good two-word combination that's a bit unusual. I, I always, uh, you know, generally stole from song titles or song lyrics. 
I did physical properties for a while with like refraction, Gemini, and or uh, entropy, um, entanglement, all that stuff. And then I went like, yeah, nope. Start to use two words. So that's where Pitted Horizon, Shattered Relic, and Evolution Smile came in. Mine was a play on Alien versus Predator. Mm. So you have Adrift Variants and Redacted 13, so A V R. Uh, yeah. The funny thing was Variants wasn't a title I came up with, which is the second in the series. Actually Firkin came up with that title for me. Mm. I put I put out suggestions and like what people might think is a good title and he suggested it and Kind of ran with it. So we might not be in the same instances, but uh, yeah, I'm in the um, start point. Uh, incoming transmission from Starfleet Command. Uh, as of Start 819... Oh, you already read this, didn't you? There was more dialogue there that I skipped through that I didn't read. Yeah, because okay. so you can do the... Hit, hit accept and then it'll, it'll go. Yeah, then you get some another pop-up. Incoming hail from Admiral Kudak Etan Shinzam. Should I put it on screen? No airlock him. <laughs> he's not in my airlock. He's, he's one of the, war I think, most hated characters I've ever created. <laughs> well, I mean, with a face like that, I, it's understandable, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Aaron, is your character? Did you want to read them? <laughs> yeah, one second. My my computer is just really slow at the moment, so I actually lost the mission. I was like, why is it not appearing? There we go. <clears throat> okay. It's weird. Um, I'm not getting the mission pop up. That's weird. Because uh, if you're in the team, like I just tried to um, accept it because mm -hmm. someone else has already accepted and is sharing their missions. We all have it now. OK. Uh, no, the next dialogue I have is now approaching. Wait, what? Well, we, we, we actually have mission sharing in the Foundry now? Well, I'm currently looking at Start Foundry Mission Adrift, and it's not my mission log. And we already commented on <laughs> we all have Blood of the Ancients. Well, um, well it, one it'll thing it'll show up as like a button if someone in your group has it. Yeah, um, but, but you don't have right. the traditional actually, mission share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 like with episode replays for one-off episodes, where you can technically follow around another player, but you can't since you're ineligible for the mission. You don't really get it. Yeah, so I'm all set to get going here. I'm just sitting at the uh, Omicron right. Kappa system. Oh, Me too. Or, or like having a Romulan player uh, assist a KDF player for a KDF-only mission that is replayable for KDF, but um, Romulans can't actually play the mission on their own. You can just go ahead and read that why don't you okay if i'm finding an appropriate voice <laughs> i am admiral kermak etan shinzan i have new orders for you set course for the vl-245 system located near the kessick system in the gamma orinus sector block your mission is to discover what happened to admiral aaron the and the uss north star we lost contact with the Admiral on Stardate 19865.07. And our hairs are going unanswered. And I just can't have him ignoring me. I'm very <laughs> worried about Admiral Aaron. Even when out on a mission, we speak every night. One final thing. Please keep an eye out for Mere Universe Admiral Aaron. Do not engage Mir Aaron in combat. He is extremely dangerous. Well, you, you know what I always do when someone tells me that? 
Report back Block to me with hug. your findings on the double. Starfleet command out. Like, really? He's dangerous, huh? Is, is he dangerous enough to, to survive a full broadside? Let's find out. Well, we are talking <laughs> about an Aaron here. <laughs> this is Mirror Universe, Aaron. In Mirror Universe, Aaron blows you up. <laughs> exactly. All right, I'm ready to start when you are. Okay. Yeah, I have enter. All We're right. Approaching VL two four five, sir. Enter VL two four five. I hope we all end up on the same map. <laughs> probably not. I mean, like when we're doing the five person playthroughs, it's probably going to be a fractal fractal spread. But it's, chances it's, are, some of us will remain together. There's always the possibility that you'll end up uh, by yourself with all the other four, four players in a different instance. I've got one person here. Yay! Three. The fun part is when you end up by yourself in a space map, and it spawns like as, five. Yeah. As if there's five players. That's, That's fateful. Did we end up on the, all on the same map? We are all yep, here. we're all here. It's sort of like when there's a problem, it sort of goes from like every e even map so the, the, you the split, first, and then the every map, on map you're together. Yeah, in the first map you're usually all together. Yeah. Sir, I'm yeah. having some difficulties with our sensors. They don't seem to be functioning. Before we arrived at the VL245 system, I reviewed the astrometrics data on the system. What we are seeing on the view screen looks nothing like the data I reviewed. We need answers. Engineering officer, sir, it appears the sensors have started functioning again. When warping into the system, it caused our sensors to fail temporarily. Run the diagnostic. diagnostic. The diagnostic has completed all systems checkout. Astromatrix is confirming what we are seeing on the view screen is indeed VL245. Yo, alert! Let's proceed uh, cautiously. Also, we'll no. launch the uh, tractor beam shuttles. We might need them mm -hmm. later. Yeah, so this is the updated map I worked on last year. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. because of lighting 2.0, it turned dark, but I was like, oh, that's okay. <laughs> Do you realize there is, like, one backdrop that still has working lighting? Yep. This is really There's only weird so many times yes. you can use Zarya, It's, like, it's yeah. like every single space object is a uh, gray. Oh, one quick thing. There's actually two. Starfire Theta found it and used it for one of his missions. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, what I'm thinking of a Sector Space 6, I think. Hmm. Well, we kind of went through all those, and they have working lighting in the editor, but not in the main game. Zarya kind of, a couple of them have sort of like ambient lighting that's a little bit different but they don't actually have working lighting um sector space six actually has it has that red underglow and for some reason oh that's that the one say that they used okay because zarya also has like an orange glow too mm. so there's two that work okay so anyway sir spencers are picking up the presence of the uss avenger starfleet has never told us the avenger was in this sector the ship is currently disabled with no signs of life. The Avenger had a crew complement of 400. I knew Captain Brandon Felkser very well. We all did, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was an interesting reference. I the think he went and opened the bar or something. <laughs> In Ireland. <laughs> Sir, the, Sir, the Avengers warp core is going critical. Amazing maneuvers! I'm gonna go. <laughs> Warp core breach in progress. Brace for impact. I've brought us closer because I run for no explosion. Sensors indicate the Avenger has been lost. Port the lost to Starfleet. No. Nope. That's, what, happen. the, That's the, what happened to our community oh. floor manager past. He blew <laughs> Wait, up. I, I just noticed something else that's weird about the background on this map. It's moving? No, look at the blue parts of it. They have square outlines. Oh, yeah. I was some of that, that. Yeah, some of that can happen. Um, <laughs> with too many layers. <laughs> That's a neat effect, though. Reality is breaking down. Oh, says we're going over there. Oh, we're scanning the board yep. debris. I'm looking at the backdrop. This is exploration. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I know what it is, actually. Is that, uh, one of the weird things that happened as part of one of their engine updates was that apparently it can't have t multiple transparency effects n so that it okay. will do that. Okay, dialogue. 
Uh, I'm relieved to report that the debris does not belong to the USS North Star. However, it does belong to several other Federation and Borg ships. Shall I scan for any life forms? Scan for life forms in the debris. Detecting Borg signatures in the debris field. I recommend going to Red Alert, raising shields and arming torpedoes. Agreed. Go to Red Alert. I know what a Red Alert is, Lieutenant. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Not detecting any life forms. How come there are no records of this battle in the Starfleet logs? Maybe we are the first to discover it. Hmm. Scanning for the North Star. I'm detecting the North Star. She's adrift in sector Beta 2384. Shall we set course for the North Star, sir? Beware. Scans also indicate faint Borg signatures. Set a course, and good job of capitalizing the A in adrift. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that well in the inflection. Yeah, me when, when, when I hear faint Borg signatures, it, it means small Definitely number of, of easily killed things. There's funding in the donut. Well, he used the donut as a uh, substitute for a, a transwarp uh, gate. So they're basically popping out of the center of the donut like they would if it was a Borg transwarp gateway. Mm -hmm. The cubes don't really fit either. <laughs> no, they're no, they really they're spawning like for five players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, when, when you're just doing they it by yourself, perfectly. you're not going to get a cube. I'm just going to no, you're on not. the back side and... I don't like the creamy center of this donut. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good to me. <laughs> Tastes like loot. <laughs> Sir, we have conducted a scan on the North Star and something isn't right with the life signs aboard the ship. Uh, they're, they are there, but they aren't what we expect. Uh, there are hundreds of life forms aboard the ship, but they're not showing up in, in the Federation database. Shall we attempt to hail the North Star? Hail the North Star! Our hails have gone unanswered. I suggest we form a boarding party and search the ship deck by deck in order to uncover the mystery of the North Star. Let us go. Now the, uh... Sir, Starfleet Regulation 12, Chapter 4 states... Understood! Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> uh, everybody don't click right now. There's one more thing I want to show you on the map. Okay. Loot Critter's little surprise. So follow me. Uh, I was following Green Dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So this has a little hidden item. There we go. Uh. Beep. Beep. Damn <laughs> 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 right, it, Primal! Sure. How did I end up here? Okay. That's cool. And since it's uh, leave from home app, we can just click the beam aboard button from here. Yeah. And unfortunately, Primer is not in the chat anymore. Oh! <laughs> uh, Primer, you failed us. You left too early. Someone click this. Send it to Primer. Yeah, so it's just the, the space map since you guys reviewed it that I've I've edited, and I think I changed the the ending. I moved the ending from this one to the beginning of the other one. Hmm. It was too much. Yeah, I seem to remember it being a bit of an info dump at the. Uh, yeah. End. It was too much. Yeah, having a person read a book at one specific point in the mission and hello. Uh, this could be fun. Uh, I'm still on the loading screen. <laughs> and because we're a full team, I can't rest request reinforcements. This will be fun. Yeah, I'm and at for life four. Why not? Testing our ability to solo. Right, 31. I think we set this for Something normal. is in here. Something is in here with us, but what? I'm not sure. Scans indicate it's in the captain's ready room. Shall we investigate? Yes, everyone set phasers on stun. Everyone? I'm the only one here. Uh, <laughs> I've yeah. got Lieutenant Tardigrade. I'll be fine. Also, I, I'm, like I said before, I'm using a Krieger Wave Disruptor Rifle. They don't have stun settings. 
They, 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 they have slightly charred and completely incinerated. I'm scanning they, they, the container. Then, then there's the uh, setting for uh, banished target to a parallel dimension that doesn't really exist. Okay, so dialogue. Uh, what was that? Something was in the mist ahead of us. I couldn't get a reading from it before it vanished. It would, this is weird. I've never seen anything like this before. Tactical officer has input, doesn't he? I find it weird that there are there is no crew presence on the bridge, not even a single body. I'm not sure. We should conduct further scans. Yeah, I just thought of something about Krieger Wave weapons in the game that would have been really, really cool and played off of the TNG episode that they came from that Cryptic didn't do, and that would have been to have them ignore line of sight uh, rules. I found pods. I think that kind of went badly creepy with the and undulating. Six. Uh, there's a life form inside what appears to be Sax. The species is not showing up in the Federation database. We should check the ship's database for further information. There is something in here with us, and they don't appear to be friendly. This is not good. They are on their way over here now. Keep them away from you. Okie dokie. Bezos ready. What do you mean they cut the power? They're animals, man. <laughs> I'm just going to put down a quantum water. Well, the good news is they're not spawning like 50 billion of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> see, see, ground maps have never had the ability to uh, uh, summon uh, based on the player numbers. They, they, they just they replace bridge difficulty. officers with... Uh, they don't even actually increase the difficulty. That's one thing I've noticed is that uh, a captain mob with two ensigns following him around is still a captain mob with two ensigns following him around. Mm -hmm. So I got dialogue? <clears throat> yep. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Long range scans have detected weapons fire aboard the North Star. Wait, they can detect weapons fire on board a ship from long range? <laughs> we use some very big guns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that, I mean, what? yeah. The, the sensors I, I, I have the seven... The sensors were set to the sensitivity level of plot. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> that's no how sensors always work. <laughs> Sir, no disrespect, but how are you able to scan the ship? <laughs> there you go. You, you never saw that. that. <laughs> <laughs> that's classified. Report back once you have further information. Starfleet Command out. Oh, how he, uh, he, he's getting a live feed from the ship's computer. So, so, that, so that was a completely useless call, then, wasn't it, Admiral? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, but key to the I'm plot. Key to the plot. Data in uh, this guy's computer, just because I want to know what's going on. <laughs> okay, Admiral Aaron should read Admiral Aaron. <clears throat> Admiral Aaron's log. Start date nine one eight six five point zero seven. The North Star has been ordered to the system of VL-245 by Starfleet Command. I'm truly worried about the recent command. The last time I was in the Hoptic sector of the Beta Quadrant, it did not end well for the crew of my old ship. We lost 547 souls when the shadow being broke free from the force field and infected a crew member. Before long, we had a full-scaled infection spreading out of control, and there was nothing we could do to contain it. I ordered the self-destruct and was able to flee before the ship was lost. I've read Starfleet's official statement on the incident and all information has been erased. Any mention of it. Hmm. So next we'll read log. the next log. Admiral Aaron's log supplemental. Nobody at command told me we were part of a team heading to VL-245. We've been joined by the USS Avenger and, U and U the Utopia. What is command thinking? I thought we, this was supposed to be a simple get in and get out mission. Read the next, next log. log. The Borg, the Borg, they beat us here. How did they know about this place? Starfleet Command assured me that the facilities were destroyed and all technology on the base was deactivated. We must salvage the sacks before the Borg get their hands on them. If the Borg were to assimilate the shadow beings, it would spell the end to, of the Federation. I'm sad to report the Utopia was destroyed in the battle with the Borg while the Avenger was critically disabled. We are in the process of beaming the sacks into isolation. Next lock. We we were attacked by a tactical cube. It came out of nowhere without warning. Our shields were down and we lost containments on deck eight, 
10, 13, 16, and 20. We were able to destroy the cube, but, but one of those shadow beings escaped when the force field failed. I have crews, crews searching it for it deck by deck. Damage to our communication system still prevents communication with Starfleet Command. Next log. One of those shadow beings infected me. I'm afraid it doesn't bode well for me. The doctor has activated my Borg implants to fight against the infection. I only hope for the sake of my crew we get this under control before anything else goes wrong. Next log. I hear them. They must have beamed aboard with when, when our shields were down. I have been relieved of my command. My Borg implants are failing to control what is going on with me. I must resist. They are calling to me. Dance time. Party with the tardigrades. <laughs> Join us. Sir, <laughs> decade emergency force fields are in place. The deck is in bad shape and I can't get a clear readout. There might be some more life down there. Let's, Let's proceed to deck eight. The structure on this bridge is giving way and buckling under the stress. We need to go now. Well, right, I mean, the lift. I, I, I did fire a, a, an orbital strike uh, through the ceiling. So, yes, that makes perfect sense. So, so it's your fault. <laughs> uh, lift. In my Plus, we had, we had like I just two fired an orbital cubes explode right next to the ship. So Exactly. I'm surprised the ship hasn't blown up already. You should be glad that they, they fixed that thing where uh, nearby explosions would kill NPC contact ships. Oh, that sucks. That sounds yeah. <laughs> like no other. They used to have to despawn and spawn NPCs just in case. I actually it's had like, that happen to me in a... I was playing one of Horion's missions um, that he made for uh, 26E. And I had... Like, I was doing the recording... And now I've got a big chunk of that, which, which I've got to cut out, or I had to exit the mission and then proceed through map after map after map, <laughs> map trying to get to it. <laughs> no. See, it, it. It was such an intermittent bug. It, w it would just show up out of nowhere sometimes. Yeah, it, it did. Mm. So, uh, 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 bad guess. Bad guess. Ah. Hey, there's another life form. Bad hugs. Yay. We're all Same together. Bad hugs. Except for Duncan. Yeah, I'm on my own. <laughs> Bye. Oh. Nice Have fun. Well, I've got <laughs> Lieutenant Tardigrade here, who's practically you, you... invincible and stays around for as long as combat, so... And they decrease the cooldown time to two minutes, so... Party! Oh, look, uh, apparently shadow beings don't like being shot with Krieger waves. <laughs> I can download the database. So I killed my guys with expediency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even using secondary fire. I was just zapping them with the primary fire on my weapon. <laughs> uh, all I did was basically just deploy Lieutenant Targrade and shoot him a few times. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Admiral Aaron's log supplemental. I may be relieved of command, but I will not allow the ship to fall into the hands of the board. I knew what they're up to. Computer execute Aaron Beta 47 confirm. Computer activate ECH. You have an emergency command hologram. Yes, yes, you do, apparently. <laughs> Wait, is that a Romulan? Vulcan. Warhead. He's a hologram anyway. <laughs> Please state the nature of the command request. ECH, I've transferred all command codes to you. Defend the ship against the board, keep the crew safe and away from the shadow beings. ECH, you are the North Star's only hope. Aaron, out. Command codes verified. Thank you, Admiral. ECH out. I never knew the North Star was equipped with an emergency command hologram. We should check the Divis and find out what happened to the ECH. Continue. Hey, uh, is, is this a hole in the wall that I can... Uh, no. Please oh, state wait. the nature of the command request. What have you done? By activating my program here, you have transferred my hollow matrix to deck eight and prevented me from keeping the board contained on the lower decks. Internal sensors indicate they are on their way over here now. We must stop them at all costs. I will stay here and attempt to regain control of the North Star's computers. Understood, but if you didn't want me activating this console, you should have put a sticky note on it. 
Yeah, the ECH is a bit of a <clears throat> asshole. <laughs> Sticky Notes haven't... is one of those lost technologies, you know, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, this looks like the Borg have already renovated this ship, so, you know. It's probably going to blow up anyways. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> you know, I got unlimited rebuilding powers. So apparently there was something in, the, in a previous episode of uh, Discovery that indicated there were 7,000 ships in the Federation fleet. Obviously, 6,000 of those are North Stars that are just <laughs> sitting, sitting on a shelf somewhere for when blow, one blows up. You know, I wouldn't be mad if the game made that happen one day. Just have a North Star come in and blow up. I, I, I wouldn't have been mad. Could they, like, oh, you got that one, like, um, uh, uh, Odyssey class at the start of Borg yeah. the, or the, uh, the Hive Onslaught? Remap that to the North Star. <laughs> uh, or just, like, rename it. Yeah, yeah, good. Good job. They should give you a promotion. Listen, my talents are best served here, attempting to keep the other board contained within the cargo bay. The last I heard from Admiral Aaron, he was unwell and unable to carry out his command duties. Please find him. My program was not intended to run this long. I was created only to act as a supplementary to the existing command structure. On the store. I think I have a lock on Admiral, the Admiral. Uh, I think I have something, but there's only a faint trace of DNA from Admiral Aaron. Uh, whatever it is, I don't think it is him. I'm also detecting other forms of life. Uh, some appear to be humanoid. Let's find, Let's him. find him. Life signs ahead. Locate the survivors and assess the situation. Make sure to check every corner of the corridor you are entering. People are alive! We must end that. Yeah, too many people alive. Gotta fix that problem. That would be unseemly for my report. So much more dramatic if I said, oh, the ship is uh, this, this part of the ship appears to have lost gravity plating. They mm. don't look dead, but they're kind of like floating. <laughs> um, I've got lots of dead. They put them in a pile. You've got fire right here, guys. Come on, put two and two together. All that death. Uh... These two survivors are in er, tremendous shock. Uh, even the Vulcan is showing signs of psychological trauma. Says my Vulcan, who has been afraid since we've been on board. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've been looking at a, uh, a Klingon and the Liberated Borg. Uh, beam them to, to sick bay. Belay that order. Your mission is to locate and recover Admiral Aaron. I will raise force fields and transport the wounded to sick bay, where I reactivate the emergency medical hologram. You know, this ship does isn't it, in a very good... Does it say Fleet yeah. Admiral anywhere on my uniform? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, dang it, I've got command, uh, well, Captain no, Pips, no, so. actually. <laughs> That's right, I forgot to put on the armor. <laughs> oh, God, I mean, if Cryptic like made a, hello, my name is Fleet Admiral badge... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Okay, so you find the crew yeah, members I got, to scan. I, get, I was gonna say I got significant flack from the roleplay community for that. Which part? You can't you push me fly. around. <laughs> yeah, I've got the next objective. Ah, here we are. Oh, Ensign Jan appears to have been assimilated. You will find the crew members to scan outside the dead forward and down the hallway. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if it. it, it if she's Borg, why is she dead? Oh, wait, she's not dead. That's right. I go here. Medical scan. Sir, they're, they're dead. dead. Uh, I'm not getting any vital signs from any of them. I've never seen anything like this before, dead people. Uh, <laughs> there's no precedent in medical history for dead people. <laughs> I've always go as far as to say that they are walking infected. Uh, they need it. We need to distance ourselves as far away as from them as possible to avoid being infected as well. You know what's making this really funny for me? My science officer is a Borg drone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, um, a customized um, 
hierarchy officer, so I've he's emoting quite well. Potato Man is sad. Sir, the bodies of the crew we just scanned have vanished. I wonder where they went. Watch your back. I've got weird feeling about this. I'm setting my Krieger Wave Disruptor Rifle to uh, b b banish to alternate dimension. I'm setting Lieutenant Tardigrade to maximum hugs. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, I recognize I most of the uh, references. Should I be worried that we're kind of basically mowing down all your friends? <laughs> 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 well, in the, la in the last mission, we mowed down the entire Foundry Roundtable. <laughs> we deserve it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I, I didn't see, see what you used the, as the avatar for me. Um... Because I couldn't do what I typically did for Green Dragoon, I basically just picked one of the um, the Rising. So, unfortunately, <laughs> normally I I did that kind of character based on your avatar for uh, um, Twitter. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately, because the customizations out the window, I couldn't do it again. So, <laughs> oh, it makes sense now. This is why they attempted to stall the aliens. One of the beings must have escaped when the Borg attacked. We have to lower the force field to get rid of this, uh, to get out of the room. Lower oh, the force field. That, void. that definitely won't oh. make things worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't make things worse. Obviously. Yee. Dun dun dun, and I scared my oh, cat look, by doing that I, voice. I, I, I found another force field. I have an idea. I will attempt to bypass the security protocols and lower the force field for you, since you're clearly incompetent. I need to locate the console and override the controls. I need you to locate the console and override the controls for me. It should be on your left. Agreed. No, no your other left. I'm getting strange readings from the other side of the force field. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, we're Starfleet officers. We've done the stupider things than this already. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it up, princess. <laughs> Suck, Suck it up, princess! Do I need to remind you of your duties and responsibilities? I've been monitoring your progress and comms throughout the mission, and we will discuss this on your next performance review. You're not my supervisor. Sir, no disrespect, but how are you able to scan the ship? That's classified. Uh, report back at once you have further information. Starfleet Command, out. Okay. You know, I'm Said starting to think time. that he doesn't actually need us here. Uh -oh. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if he knows exactly what's going on, what the heck is the point of sneak us here? Well, we need to be the cannon fodder. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, boots on the ground. But, yeah. I don't even remember when we had ensigns to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what my favorite one? There was a bug a long time ago in the mission where basically if you selected that option, it just kept looping that dialogue choice. <laughs> I had to delete the entire dialogue and redo it because of it. It was so hilarious. Uh-oh. Please the report yeah. broke. We're okay. We just encountered infected crew members. Glad to hear that you encountered infected crew members. <laughs> Please continue what I requested so we can proceed with the mission. Oh, the force field! I think he's talking about this console. Oh, I, I see you used the invisible wine glass trick again. You know, another option to that is actually to just, like, uh, put two ob uh, identical objects in exactly the same coordinates. Uh, well. I, like I, was, I was able to bring internal sensors back online. You are about to head into an area where the infected crew are. Whatever you do, make sure they don't touch you. Bad touch. Make sure they don't touch me. When has that ever happened before? Oh, we get the optional support option. Ding. <laughs> Play the Flight of the Valkyries music. Da -da -da -da. More holograms. Yeah, because we've, 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 we
we, 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 we've, we've established that the, the, uh, the one thing that these guys can't do is uh, infect things that don't have physical substance. <laughs> See a red dot on the map. Where's the red dot hiding? I think we got them all. You thin face. Yep, we got them all. Yep, same. Scan for a way out. It is scan. Scan, scan. Where are you, scan, scan? Uh, I've detected a life form. It appears to be in there with you. Turn around now. So fun fact, Ooh. I recognize this map, and we're standing right where you get like infected in the Edelon in part two. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we've all used this map. Oh, I'm sure we've I used all the used maps map. all time. You know, what you, happened? You, know, you need a generic fed interior that's damaged to use this it, one. Exactly. What happened? The life form just vanished. That's Admiral Aaron, or what is left of him. You must retrieve him before he transforms any more. I believe even at this stage we can reverse this condition. I have tracked the Admiral to main engineering. Ah, the other generic damaged fed interior map. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> yep, use that one I'll, too. <laughs> I have been Am I able the only to person who hasn't blown up a fed ship? Yes. Maybe. I have been able to bring the transporters online. I will be there now. Please stand by. Why didn't you do that before? But has it blown up a fed ship? You know, I just remembered that I haven't ever done a mission where you have a Federation ship interior. That was one of my very earliest missions. I, I had the sequence where you got into a battle with a Romulan ship, and then, which of course you win because you can't lose in this game. <laughs> so it was like, uh, you know, had them reporting and said the damage was worse than we thought, Admiral. And then you go to the interior and have to fix stuff. Uh, I believe I used this map that we're going to. Tarfair yeah, my, this was as question. it was my Hopefully. first mission. I think I just stuck with uh, pre-built and I heavily customized. To be honest, uh, in certain ways, sticking with pre-built assets is actually a good idea because it avoids certain of the bugs. Hey, it's all of us. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Yes. Yes, but it's a little choppy. Okay, we need to establish environmental controls and engineering. Please make your way over to the console and shut down the plasma leaks before the deck floods. Understood, because I know I'm not going to win the other fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You sent me into a hazardous <laughs> situation and did not tell me to, you know, have an environmental suit or something. I have to say, I like the... Um... Yeah, great. What did you do? <laughs> the core, the, the warp core is going critical. You need to shut it down now. Try again. This time, get it right, or we're all doomed. Scan the warp core. Look at Scan the warp core. Scan vent, shut down, and then Sorry, eject. Sorry, I have no. I have some ideas about how to just sit solve down. the situation. <laughs> Scan the warp core, vent the dry plasma, shut down the warp core, eject the core if necessary. You did it. Without yes. ejecting the core. <laughs> <laughs> you saved the warp core. Good job. Yay. I have to say, your uh, your method of uh, putting the infected crew members like almost stuck in the wall is Im impressive. <laughs> also, it looks like that Vigo gook from uh, Ghostbusters when you do it that way. Yeah. Uh, the sacks are opening up. Looks like we woke them up. Azer's ready. Oh, good. I was getting bored. I'm delegating. <laughs> this is gonna go quick since there's five of us. <laughs> yeah, and this build is basically call down lots of support as a tactical officer and also, then the team. I'm using a neutronic mortar and those are unshielded targets. <laughs> is everything going according to plan? I'm going to activate the emergency engineering hologram. I believe the EEH can restore main power to the ship, because you clearly can't. So the North Star <laughs> can limp home. First, I need you to realign the hollow emitters. Yep, on it! I don't need your help. Uh, 
I have to say, your your choice of console for that is interesting. It does kind of fit, though. I'd never thought of using it for that. It fits the nature of the operations so request. Wait, I understand. The ECH has caught me up to speed. I'll work on restoring main power. And it starts. We've got to get this ship out of here. I was able to knock unconscious all the Borg in the cargo bay by decompressing the deck. I was also able to knock out the infected crew. They are awaiting medical attention. Yay! Understood. Yay! It's an unknown being. Squad! Hey, <laughs> Phaser's ready. Or oh not. no, Lieutenant Tardigrade's on a 25 second cooldown. Unknown being. We're doomed! <laughs> doomed! 18 seconds. Sa save us, Tardigrade. Hold the line! Oh, who's gonna knock me out? Where did he go? Oh, uh, there he is. I, I wanted think to shoot Admiral Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was funny that Admiral Aaron went down, and behind him was the actual Admiral Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Backstab. <laughs> from from my view. Wait, wait. Which one's the real Admiral Aaron, and which one's the mere universe Admiral Aaron? Oh, uh, there. <laughs> Maybe both. Mirror, mirror Whatever universe. you think it is, it's the opposite. Make sure. Oh he's wait, secure. Uh, wait. Th th don't we have have the antimatter universe, which has like uh, not quite exact uh, copies of everyone? It's not the mirror universe, but it's like differently, not quite exactly the same. There's lots. I mean, t TNG said basically infinite. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, ECH. I'll take it from here. I've transported Admiral Aaron onto the medical bay. The EMH is currently working on reversing his condition. However, long-range sensors have detected Borg, and lots of them, on a direct course. I suggest you return to your ship. Okie dokie. <laughs> Waiting your order. order. Five, to, five to beam up to five separate ships. <laughs> <laughs> this might be fun. Hey, we might get lucky. We might be all on the same team. Oh, I um, <laughs> based on the pattern, we're going to be separate. Oh. Well, I mean, we had one where we're like fully separate. Uh, then there's one where there's like one in four split. Then there's like all in five, and who knows? <laughs> yeah, there just isn't a lot of rhyme or reason to it. Explosions. <laughs> and more through the donut hole. Donut, 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 donut. separate. <laughs> Scanning the system. Oh, yeah, we're all separate. <laughs> this would be funny. Ship is decloaking, sir. The USS Psylocke uh, is decloaking. Uh, how long have they been there? The whole time. <laughs> Open healing for Psylocke? Yeah, that's amusing. <laughs> A pleasure to see you. We have arrived in the system. I am glad to see the North Star situation is under control. I hear Admiral Aaron is recovering in sickbay. Long-range scans have detected multiple Borg signatures heading our way. Understood, mister. Oh, it's classified, and we can scan your ship from long distance. Yeah, they weren't scanning from long distance. They were scanning from five feet away. I got, <laughs> I got two Psylocks. Yes. I did too, because it, it's still teams. Yep. It's still bring it up, so this is going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, Admiral I, I hear them. Brace yourself. The Borg are sending an entire fleet for one person. <laughs> I wish I could assist. The North Star is in no condition I, for battle. I, I am going to use the Psylocke as a uh, human shield because um, it, it has no use uh, to me otherwise. <laughs> this could be terrible. Shields there, are there down. There is a signal for assistance button. Oh, good. That, 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 that'll be nice. Give you another, another couple of allies here. Weapons are offline and life support is barely functioning. What's new? <laughs> Definitely someone <laughs> got. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All, all, all the things that you know usually go offline <laughs> the first hit. Oh. oh no! Oh no! I did the Lorca maneuver into an exploding cube. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I'm still safe. Oh How still else safe. are you supposed to do the lock-up maneuver? There's like five... There's like ten more cubes. Okay, well, they're all dead I now because I, I, I got them all pretty easy. <laughs> I kind of yeah. made it more difficult for myself. Here comes the next wave. Don't worry, we've requested the assistance of nearby ships. USS Anoli, under the command of Taranstar. Taranatar. Taranatar. Wait, was it that the, the Jim Hadar from Deep Space Nine? <laughs> there appear to be a lot of hybrid Jem Hadar in Starfleet Command now. <laughs> yep. Well, they died. I was gonna say, like having them all grouped up kind of makes it easy. I, I, I always kept getting people telling me my battles were too easy because they're always the ones where I had allies. Because it does really make it too easy. <laughs> Something big is coming, watch out. Don't worry, I've requested the assistant of the nearby ship, the USS Hadley. Unfortunately, the USS Hadley is a male ship. <laughs> a lot of ships around here for a distant corner of the quadrant. The Federation Postal Service knows no boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> I barely even had to like fire on them. Now. Weather, wind, Wait, or storm, you, you or use board attack. Vulcan too? Yep. That's amusing. Alright, scanning the portal. I have no time for phone calls now. That's an interesting scanning device. <laughs> I'm detecting, detecting something. Wait, no, it's a Borg dreadnought. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume Eric. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to take that call. <laughs> oh. It's not it's just not a dreadnought, it's a Borg queen. I can hear her. Resistance is futile. No! She cannot be allowed to get her hands on the shadow beings. With them, they can spell the end to the Federation and all life in the galaxy. Our talk Dax of the USS Hope is inbound to join the fight. <laughs> uh, well, at least it didn't spawn like 50 board <laughs> No, no, it didn't. But since I'm uh, using uh, a, a chronometric variant on the uh, uh, Uber Gravwell, uh, it's literally just like shoving the Borgs into a black hole where they explode on top of each other and kill each other by exploding <laughs> on each other. <laughs> You've done it. I'm not detecting any fur further Borg signatures. I think that's the last of them. Thank you for rescuing uh, my ship and me. We have cloaked and begun our journey back to Earth space dock. Mm, can you? Your exceptional service to the Federation has been noted. And I may not even discipline you for your incompetence earlier. <laughs> I took the liberty uh, to be over a crate of Romulan ale. Off the record. First name. <laughs> Before cloaking. Thank you again for recovering Admiral Aaron and the North Star. On a day's work. It was not a pleasure. <laughs> Shall I set course for Earth Space Dock? I'm looking forward to some shore leave after this whole situation. I'm sure Why Starfleet. Why does my Borg officer look happy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Starfleet will have us swear our silence regarding the whole incident. Agreed. Okay. Intruder alert. Something strange is showing up on the internal sensors. Who are you going to call? Yeah, Put it really, on screen. Uh... <laughs> I'm detecting. No, putting it up on screen. This hollow image was taken beings. from deck 13 where the life form is present. How did one get on board? It was being aboard with a crate of Romulan ale. He sent us on a suicide mission. This is a general disc call from the USS Your Ship. We have, have been boarded by an unknown life form. Do not board your ship for any reason. Sir, We should we order the ship-wide evacuation? Heck no. Yep. Stay and fight. No, I'm not evacuating my ship for one of these guys. I already killed a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> my console has stopped responding. I'm not getting any feedback from internal ship systems. To be continued. Dun, dun, yeah. dun. Dun, 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 dun. And that's where it ends now. It's 
So before you would continue on to something else. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you for playing. We're on Express Turbo Lift to Hell. Going down. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a drift. Yep. That's the updated version. Oh, and actually, before you exit out, there if you go back to the spot where Luke Critter was, um, there's another dialogue there. And basically, since we're split, only one person's going to get the chance to actually leave a review, so to take care of that, you just have to drop the mission. Yeah, that wasn't me. Uh, I got the review. Those reviews are totally important over the next two weeks. <laughs> So Luke Critter's little dialogue is, if you go back there, it says, you again. Don't worry, Zeph Films will rescue me if his starship can fit. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then, so what's next? Uh, well, how are you guys feeling? Did you want to take a break or consult her on? I'm good. I'm good. Um, do we want to swap in our next author? Sure. Um, I see Starfire. Right, th thanks. Thanks, Admiral Aaron, for joining us. Um, well, really appreciate it. And uh, obviously, we've had fun playing your Foundry missions all these years. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for having me on and letting me uh, showcase uh, Adrift again. Not to mention your April Fool's joke. Yes. <laughs> and watch out for Resistance coming soon, very soon. Yes. Yay! <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Have a good day. Mm, you too. You too. Bye-bye.